Congratulations on your purchase of Sage Act. To get started using the program, you'll have to complete the following actions. Download the software and installation package, saving the files to your computer. Extract or unpack the program and installation files. Run the Act installer. Register and activate the product. And then start using Sage Act. After completing this video, you'll be able to complete each of these steps. Following your purchase, you'll receive an email that includes a download link to download the Sage Act program and installation files, order information including your company name and email address, product description, license quantity, and your serial number. To begin downloading the software and installation package, click Download Now. You'll be directed to the product download page that corresponds to the product you've ordered. Prior to downloading, you should review the system requirements before you begin your installation. Sage Act Pro customers can click the download link to start the download. Sage Act Premium customers will have the option to download both the Access via Windows and or Access via Web products. Additionally, if your order includes Microsoft SQL Server 2008 standard, you'll receive this software in a separate media pack shipment. As mentioned, to begin downloading your product, click the download link. You'll be prompted to select a location in which to save the downloaded files. There's also a checkbox to execute the file after download, which will automatically start the setup process. Select the location to save your files, and then click OK to begin the download. Depending upon your connection speed, download time will vary. Keep in mind you'll need at least 4 gigabytes of hard drive space when downloading the product. If you selected the option to automatically extract the installation files, they'll be extracted to a folder on your C drive, and the setup screen will appear as soon as that process completes. Prior to starting your installation, you may want to select the product documentation link and review the installation guide to walk you through the installation of Sage Act. To install the product, Click the Install link on the Setup screen. The installer launches and runs some background system checks. If your web server is running on a 64-bit operating system, you may get a prompt informing you that a change needs to be made to Internet Information Services before continuing. You can accept the prompt, which will restart your server, and then installation will pick up where you left off after you log on. So in the Installation Wizard, select the appropriate regional version, and then click Next. Read and accept the licensing agreement, and then choose the type of installation you'd like to perform. Something unique to the Sajak Premium Access via Web installation is that the installer creates virtual directories and Internet Information Services to host the various web applications that end users will connect to. This includes the main Sajak Premium Access via website, Outlook integration components, and Office integration components. After setup is complete, you can select the checkbox to open the Quick Start or click Finish. Upon clicking Finish, the Sajak Premium Web Administrator's Guide launches. You should review this guide to ensure you've completed all the appropriate steps for setting up your web server and Sajak Premium access via web. To launch Sage Act and to configure the web application, double-click the shortcut to the program on your desktop. When Act is launched the first time, you're presented with three options. You can create a new Sage Act database, open an existing database, or watch a brief video on what is a SageAct database. Assuming you have a database from a prior version to open, select Open an existing SageAct database and click OK. A list of databases detected on the local machine will be displayed. You can select the appropriate database and click Open Database. At this point, the database is accessible locally, but not via the web test your configuration and publish the database to the web, you'll need to click Tools and then open the Website Administration tool to complete the configuration of your web server. Assuming you've completed the configuration, then remote clients running a desktop web browser 
or mobile device browser, we'll be able to connect to the database and manage contacts, activities, and more.